Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, continuing with NXT TakeOver Month, and welcome to the Generation of Jade. We have Cora Jade in the game, a modern era focused trickster, so she's going to be competing with Goat Becky and Zombie Bianca in the modern focused category. Trainer ability at 26k, yellow moves start with two more move points, and X break gems do 75% more damage. Links NXT, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. And just the one standard set of gear. A couple different builds we're going to take a look at. The first is available at three star finisher and double red. The finisher jaded 10 MP deal 446,666 damage, make 37 trap gems into red gems and pin the opponent. Red 1, the Diving Sent on 7 MP, deal 124,396 damage, and make 35 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 89,333 damage and increase the damage of all of your gems by 20% for two turns. Does not affect bonus damage. If broken by you, steal up to 84... My cat is having a sneeze fit. Um... You good, Mick? I think he's good. Um, if broken by you, steal up to 84,866 health. Yes, I have one red TP. Yes, I know. Don't worry. Um, and the back elbow smash, red to 6 MP. Deal 92,244 damage and increase your purple MP by 8. Entourage for this, Butch for red MP, Piper Niven for plus 2 red MP and 40% more damage to red gems. Showboat Nakamura, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming, but he finally works on Trap Gems the way he was supposed to when he came out at least a year ago. Thank you, Scopely. Um, we are now stealing up to 169,732 health from the traps. And then dragon for 50% more damage and an extra trap gem for the belt. Nothing fancy here. Fury 2s. I don't even have a plate. She doesn't need it. I'll run a plate with the 6-star build that uses the traps. But as it stands, doesn't need it. So kendo stick slash baseball bat is heel Cora. Skateboard is face Cora. Got it. Uh, okay, so diving sent on 36 random into traps. Uh, so our red gems are doing 35, 42 on the, for his opponent, huh? Back elbow smash, increase your purple MP. And then Jaded, we're doing about 589,000 damage and turning all of these traps into red. So we should get a good chunk of them, minus like that one and that one. We'll see. Yeah, we got all but two. That's 10 mil. Turn one. 10 mil on turn one. If you have the Chain of Colossus plate, if you have that Ghostbuster Seance plate that makes an F ton of red gems um, as an ultimate, that combination, you could just spam red gems forever. Be a little insane. Um, let's take a look at the six star build. We're going to take a look at the six star build now, and we're using the finisher and the traps, but we're bringing in the six star move, which is the chokehold 7 MP color submission. Choose seven gems to make into purple submission gems and do 268,000 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. So we're going to use this to load up the finisher. Um, sticking with Butch and Piper and Dragon, bringing in Hall of Fame Snoop for just that extra 20% to our red gems. And we're going to be using the Gremlin's Ears plate 
Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. So we're going for turn two here, but should be a lot stronger. And which, when you consider we did 10 mil turn one without it, this should be pretty good. Now there's two ways we could play this. We could put the trap gems out first and get the opponent to break them to boost our gem damage. I tried that a few times and found didn't leave us a whole lot of trap gems to convert with the finisher. So I'm going to put out the sub first. Let's take a look. Our red gems are doing 37k. Uh, I think we need a four match and a three match. We can just break a bunch of stuff here. Um, and it's a color sub, so uh, they kind of put these in an icky spot. Kind of put those in an icky spot. Meh. Whatever, we're just using it to load up the move. It doesn't leave anything behind, so I'm not super worried. Uh, so 37 to 52. Mm, 52, 59k, and then we're going to turn those into red. Okay, so seven and a half. The 10 mil was from Naka. Still good. So if you don't have Showboat Nakamura, and you have the Gremlin's Ears plate, that's an option. That's why they call it a preview, though, because we look at everything and we try different things. Um, let's switch over to the blue builds. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at five star. We're running the double blues and the five star move. Blue one, the step up knee, six MP, deal 114,125 damage, and make 22 random gems into one turn countdown gems. That will deal 178,666 damage and make three random gems into purple gems at the end of the countdown. Blue two, the running Hurricane Rana 6 MP, deal 115,733 damage plus 71,466 bonus damage for every countdown gem. And this is a hardcore move. Again, triggers when a condition is met. The hardcore effect will go first. The normal effect will go second. And I think this might be the first one that doesn't actually have anything to do with the class. It has something to do with the opponent's style. So if the opponent's, like a subclass, is chaotic then deal 178,666 damage and decrease all countdown gem timers by two. Um, so Hall of Fame Lita is in fact chaotic, so we can showcase this ability. Five-star move is the European uppercut 5 MP. Deal 536,000 damage and increase your blue MP by six. So this will recycle itself. Entourage for this, I'm using Striker Kevin Owens for the 100% move damage and the two purple MP. If you have Tech Rhodes belt, um, he's plus two purple MP and countdown gems do uh, 75. I don't remember. I don't have him built up. Uh, but you could use him instead. Ridge Holland for 100% to countdown gems. Zombie Rhea for 35%. And then Santa Hogan to help us get that plus one MP and a little bit of gem damage as well. Sticking with the Fury 2s, and we're bringing in the ultimate Opportuna Z plate. Whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. So let's see how this hardcore ability goes. So with KO, we're doing 1.2 million damage, European uppercut. Step up knee is going to trigger the Z plate. Purple gems doing 38k. And now they're doing 46. We're going to slow this down a little bit so we can see the hardcore ability. Running her, her and Kanrana.
You see the countdown gem damage. Little bit of a cluster. L little, little cluttered as well in looking at that. But um, countdown gems trigger 6.6 .6 mil. Turn one against a chaotic opponent. Now she does have a new skill plate coming out this weekend. The Heart of Jade. Um, I will double check the ability real quick because I don't have the plate to preview right now. Uh, whenever you make six or more countdown gems, increase your purple and red gem damage by 100% for two turns. So if you go against a chaotic opponent, that's going to stack too. So substantial gem damage there. Uh, one more build I would like to take a look at. Last build I want to take a look at is situational. We are running the double blue with the running front drop kick 5 MP. Deal 893,333 damage and steal up to 6 MP from each of your opponent's blue moves. So, Acro Bianca, wash out, girl. Okay, uh, that is very substantial move damage. So we're going with the KO show. See what I did there? 100% uh, from KO and the purple MP to start. 45% from Big Show. 25 from Hall of Fame Trish. 25 from Gooker. Bird is the word. Um, I don't have the best purple move substats. I think we don't have a ton of other than like Trickster Ray. Can't really, off the top of my head, think of a lot of strong purple move damage dealers. Um, we have a set of takedown twos and a set of takedowns. Keeping the ultimate opportune Z plate on just because. Uh, but if you do have that new generation of jade plate available this weekend from the showdown scrimmage, that would be an excellent option. So we gotta wait just a little bit. Um... Hopefully she takes that blue and then we can get cooking. Are you serious? Okay, hopefully she pins us and then we can get rolling. Everyone boo this woman. Boo! That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Just gonna do it again. Boo! There we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Finally worked out. Not that we need to steal the MP anymore, but I still want to show the move damage. So we're doing 4.4 million damage with the running front drop kick. And then because she's chaotic, we're going to trigger these right away. And how does this look with takedown medals and just the Z plate with no fury? Ooh, it's a crit. So 5.3, and then you take into account the 4.4 from the MP steal. That's between 9 and 10 million damage in that sequence. That's not bad at all. Korra's versatile. You love to see it. Let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Korra Jade Generation of Jade. Again, a modern era focused trickster. Trainer ability at 26k. Yellow moves start with two more move points and X break gems do 75% more damage. I think that's a tech Rhonda trainer off the top of my head. Um, maybe Showboat Lex as well. Uh, Lynx, NXT, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. And I mentioned she was going to have some competition. Zombie Bianca is focused. Goat Becky is focused. I completely forgot about the new Liv Morgan. Um, this is my preview. It's not mine. Uh, but she's focused as well. So that is a bit of a tough subclass to break into. But... 
curious to hear your thoughts, especially with that new plate. Again, generate six or more countdown gems. Increase your purple and red gem damage by 100% for two turns. Um, do you still prefer Zombie Bianca's Bleed? Do you still prefer Goat Becky's Subs and Traps? Do you prefer Liv Morgan's Everything? Um, she's a red gem spammer as well. So very curious to hear what you guys think. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.